This video is sponsored by Blinkist. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday to you guys. It's like 11 o'clock right now. I'm just waking up. I worked from noon to midnight last night, and then I ended up staying up a lot later. Um, so I'm waking up pretty late today. So it's a weekend and normally in medicine you don't get to have weekends off consistently But because I'm in my pediatric block, I have all my weekends off. That's just the way the schedule works I work Monday through Friday 12 hour shifts and then I have Saturday Sunday off And I've been looking forward to the weekend pretty much this whole week by the time it was like Friday midday I was super excited I just couldn't contain like how like high my spirits were because I knew the weekend was coming So this weekend there are a few things I want to do one is laundry because I basically have have no more scrubs left to wear to the hospital. Number two is spending some time with my friends. Um, I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend Dania, which I think a lot of you guys have met from my previous vlogs. So we're gonna have some lunch, go to the gym, and maybe do some of the other things that I want to do. So I want to explain my schedule a little bit for this pediatric block because I feel like I've been kind of all over the place. So my pediatric block was or is four weeks long and the first two weeks of the block was daytime shift. So I worked from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Um, the third week was noon to midnight. And then now that I'm in my fourth week or starting fourth week next week, it's going to be 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. So it's been like a gradual shift from daytime to nighttime. I personally am like a bit of a night owl, so I find it easy to go from like early to later time shifts. I find it easier. It's like more natural for me to stay up rather than having to wake up early. So I actually kind of enjoyed this progression. Right after my night shift is done, I go back to the adult ED block and I'm going to be starting out in daytime shifts. So I think that'll be a bit of a challenge. So I'll be doing my last night shift Friday night and then starting Monday, I have a daytime shift from 7.30 a.m. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So laundry is gonna have to wait because timing is not working out. But I'm off to meet with Dania. And here's my pile of dirty laundry that needs to be done at some point this weekend. I'm thinking most likely Monday because I'm working overnight on Monday. So that means I'll have all of Monday during the day, hopefully to do laundry. So about to go meet with my friend Dania. If you guys remember, she is also an emergency medicine resident. Um, and we're both in the city, so it's really nice we get to see each other pretty often. Dania! Dania! Hi, my friend! Hey, how are you? Say hello. Hi! <laughs> Hi. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, and I've decided today I have to do laundry because I don't want to leave it till tomorrow and be rushing with it. So I have a huge pile of laundry here. So let's get started. So while I put in the laundry in the machine, I want to quickly explain the scrubs. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So generally speaking, there are two different types of scrubs. There's hospital issued OR scrubs, and there's regular scrubs that you can wear from home. The hospital issued scrubs, uh, they're meant to be worn in the OR and in the hospitals. Different hospitals have different rules about them, about where they can be worn, but generally speaking, you can't leave the hospital in the hospital scrubs. I don't wear them because I'm never really in the OR. But the other type is is the home scrubs so um, they're basically scrubs that you can wear from home and the main purpose of that is so that your regular clothes don't come in contact with the patient um, but you can bring them home you can wear them outside of the hospital also the main difference is that the OR scrubs are laundered by the hospital and your regular scrubs from home you have to launder them yourself so I have a bunch of my own personal scrubs that I'm gonna be washing right now you know, I've, I've called these hospital scrubs. They come from, I guess, the graduate med medical education office. They gave them to us for free, but they're not technically like hospital or scrubs. So as you guys probably saw, I don't have uh, laundry in my unit, but I do have laundry downstairs in my building. So it's actually pretty convenient. I start the laundry, I come upstairs, and then um, I either clean or make food or something, and then I go back down when the wash is done. I personally enjoy cleaning my apartment because it makes me feel like I have 
my life together even when things are not perfect. Um, same reason why I make my bed in the morning because it makes me feel like I'm like getting something done um, even when I feel even when I feel really tired and I don't want to start my day. So time to clean my apartment. Look at all these fresh scrub pants I have. These are all the pants and these are all the tops. Enough to last me two weeks, I think. Here we are. Here we are in the squash court. It smells amazing. And water boiling. Mm. Chef Assad. With the pot. With the pot. Get you a boyfriend who makes you food. Here is our dinner of claim linguine with a baguette. Where are our guests? It's just you and me? You have no friends. That's mean. Candy's here. And we're having some kombucha also. And this looks delicious. Really, really good. Pasta, bread, drinks. Drinks, food, all that. And friends. And candy. <laughs> She's just sleeping. <laughs> Jimmy, you went to work today, right? No, I had the weekend off. Oh, it's today Sunday. Yeah. It is about 1.30 a.m. on Sunday night, and I am still up. It's been a busy and fun weekend. Did a lot of stuff, cleaning, laundry, playing Catan, playing squash. I'm going to stay up a couple more hours, and I'm going to try to go to bed as late as I can so that I can... Um, sleep as much as I can during the day before going to my night shift tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm working from 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. So this is what I'm watching tonight. I'm watching the new Clear Eye from Netflix and I actually really I actually really enjoy watching this show because I feel like it's so uplifting and people's lives are changed in such a positive way and it just makes me happy when I watch it. So. I'm just gonna watch a couple more episodes before heading to bed. It is Monday morning, actually Monday afternoon. I was pretty successful in staying up late last night. I think I stayed up until like 4 a.m. I watched a bunch of TV and then I woke up a little after 1 p.m. today. It actually feels so naughty like sleeping in until the afternoon, but obviously I have to stay up all night tonight. So this it's all part of a plan. I'm gonna close the video here and before I close the video, I wanna thank Blinkist for sponsoring this video. If you have an unpredictable and crazy schedule like mine, it can be hard to sit down and read a book for self-improvement and learning. Um, and Blinkist is an app that condenses all the great information and insight from thousands of nonfiction books, including topics like time management, self-improvement, um, and science, psychology, and a ton of other different topics into just 15 minutes of reading or listening. I prefer doing both at the same time. So the way I like to use Blinkist is by using it on my commute. So I can put in my headphones and read on my phone and I can get through one or two books of um, nonfiction books and all their great information in just one commute. And that's something I can never do with a real full length book. So some of the books that I've been reading are Steve Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and Dave Allen's Getting Things Done. Um, so if you guys are interested in trying out Blinkist, you can go to Blinkist.com slash Jamie. The first hundred people to do that can get unlimited access to Blinkist for one full week. And if you decide to get the membership, you can get 20% off. So make sure you try it out and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're not following me yet on Instagram or Twitter, you can do so at the Strike to Fit. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to thestrikedofit.com and check out some of the merchandise. If you want to check out any other videos, head over this way for some new videos. See you guys next time. Bye.